There's a correlation that I'd like to make regarding laws and groups and making things illegal and how it affects people. And a lot of people are probably going to hate that I make this correlation, but animals like this are being made illegal to keep. Keep that, let me keep Aloha friends and family. Top of the morning to you wonderful, beautiful people. Sorry, my aloha is not as exuberant as it usually is, but the title, thumbnail, that's not clickbait. That's what we're talking about today. And it's a reality. It's something that's coming to fruition. Laws have been passing. And we're gonna talk about what they are, the specifics about them, and what you can do to help without even spending a dollar. Right before we get into that, I want to talk about this first. I think by now, most of you guys are aware that this channel is sponsored by Freedom Breeder. If the big banner that's always in the background of so many of the videos didn't give it away, I have been sponsored by Freedom Breeder. This channel is able to happen the way it does because of Freedom Breeder uh, for the last two and a half years now. It's been going strong. I consider myself very fortunate for that reason. I mean, there's so many other companies. I, I've been fortunate to have many other people reach out that with the idea of sponsorship and sponsoring, but I've stuck with these guys because, well, I mean, they're like a big family for me. Some of you guys that might remember from the beginning of this channel, when I first mentioned it was happening, I shared a video where I was just really excited about their customer service way before the idea of being sponsored with them was even a, like, a little glint in my father's eye or whatever you wanna say. And you guys that watch the channel all the time, though, I'm never on here just pushing their stuff all the time because I, I don't want to be disingenuous. You know, they sponsor the channel, but I don't just want to be like, oh, you need to get this and this and this, all because it's sponsored. I, I, I am sponsored by them because I do believe in the company and just the whole idea of it, freedom breeder, which is a big subject, ties in hard today, talking about the idea of the, having the freedom to breed being taken away. They're launching a new upgrade to their products, to their rack system, which is going to actually end up costing you guys less money. So it's an upgrade that costs you less money on shipping and just on the product in general. In fact, we're going on the website and all the reptile racks are going to be uh, discounted in price. So how about that? For those of you guys that wonder maybe a little bit of my process here, every time a snake sheds, just like this beautiful, beautiful indigo snake we've gotten here has just shed, what I like to do, woo, camera falling, I do a full, enclosure clean. I, I clean the entire tub and one of the great things about Freedom Breeders and you may realize this already but check this out. In addition to how incredibly easy it is to just take it out and clean the entire tub and dump out and put a new substrate which I'm about to do. You take out the tops and give that a full clean right here in the sink which so you can sanitize every single surface that the snake touches super easily and that's what I really I mean it's just great it's fantastic oh so you just slide that sucker back in and then usually I just put this little thing back on the thing they're just changing is going from this metal clip to this plastic clip and it goes on a lot easier you can just do it with one hand just like, bam and it's on whereas this one you had to fight with it a bit more to get it on and off I mean which isn't a, a huge deal, but here's the thing, it saves you a bunch of time and, uh, and money because the shipping is gonna be lighter and then it's just easier to take on and off. Bing, bang, boom, there it is, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty clean with those things on there, man. Yeah, yeah. It's got a good look. And so for those of you that already have the ones of metal, they're offering these little plastic clips at a discount for you folks if you wanna make everything uniform. And even if you were ordering new reacts and you still wanna keep the metal things, you can still do that for the same price that they always cost. But if you wanna do these, which I think are more convenient and work better and are gonna save you lots of money, you can do that too. So options up to you. All right, let's get into the meat of the video. What's up, baby? How you doing? Would you want to come up and snuggle with my face? Come on up. Oh, you're a big, beautiful girl. Animals like this 
are being made illegal to keep. There's a law that just passed in Florida, Senate Bill 1414. You may have heard about it. I, I watched a video recently on Tyler Nolan's channel and Chandler's Wildlife talking with Kenan about it. These guys are in Florida and this girl's trying to swim away. <laughs> come here, come here, you're okay. You're okay, just ch chill up on my shoulder. Everything's good. There you go. Everything's okay. I know you don't like being off the ground. And you're like, I'm not living in Florida. Like, what does that, how does that affect me at all? Guess what? I don't live in Florida either. But here's the thing. These laws that pass, they're just getting a little foothold. It's that whole thing. Give them an inch, they're going to take a mile. If you don't think that laws being passed in Florida affects you, well, guess what? It's going to. Even if you're not even in the United States. The United States, young country as we are, we have a big influence on the world right now. And that's pretty undeniable, uh, for better or for worse. We kind of set the trends for what's going to happen in the world. So, it's important that we get on top of this. I'm going to read some stuff off my phone. Okay, so this is in an email that I got from US ARC. And it's a very brief summary. Senate Bill 1414 passed the Florida legislature on March 11th. Florida Governor DeSantis signed the bill on June 29th. FWC, or Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission, uh, issued an executive order on June 30th. U.S. Arc Florida filed the lawsuit on July 10th. FWC will present draft rules on July 23rd at the next FWC, 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 FWC commission hearing and a hearing for a temporary injunction. U.S. Arc Florida lawsuit is scheduled for August 12th. So that's a little brief summary that U.S. Arc provided as far as what's going down right there. So it's not too late. If you guys remember, a few years back, U.S. Arc filed a lawsuit with the federal government to reinstate the ability to transport some of these large snakes across state lines because it was complete bogus nonsense as to why we weren't able to do that. And they won that lawsuit against the federal government. U.S. Arc did that. These guys have been fighting for us for a while. They're on the front lines. I wouldn't have known what was happening without these guys. So this is a little piece, just a paragraph that I pulled off of U.S. Arc Florida. I'm going to read it to you guys, okay? The responsible herpetocultural community in Florida faces an uncertain future in the wake of the state legislature's decision to take it upon themselves to ban several reptile species from being kept, bred, sold, or used in most educational programs. The legislative action lacked support of science, it lacked knowledge of current FWC regulations that have proven effective at regulating reptiles for over a decade. It lacked common sense and frankly it lacked everything good, everything that good legislation and governance should possess. I'm gonna have to go ahead and agree. Obviously I'm biased, I'm a reptile keeper. I do believe that it is in our best interest to self-police and I'm, I'm open to the idea of, of keep having permits to keep certain animals because uh, well, it, it'll just, if it'll help with the situation, I, I don't see that as a problem. It'll maybe help control, because we do have bad apples out there, of course. There's, there's folks that'll, that'll turn things loose, or, and, and we don't want that, but we also don't want to punish everybody who's a very good and responsible keeper and lump everybody in the same thing and make them all criminals, because that's what's going to happen. If you're little Timmy and you live in Florida and you've got a pet tegu, and this thing passes and goes through and this lawsuit doesn't take hold and we're not able to overturn this thing that's happening, little Timmy becomes a criminal or he has to euthanize his pet tegu. And this is a case, something that's going to be going on and on. I know there's a problem with wildlife out there in Florida, that there's invasive species that are happening there. It's very easy for animals to take foothold in Florida. This is true, but it doesn't mean we should turn all responsible keepers into criminals. In fact, a lot of the animals that are there, some of you might not know this, but a lot of the animals ended up in the wild when the FBI was uh, confiscating animals and they had nowhere to put them and they just let them go in the Everglades. So the government helped out with that too. I'm not saying there wasn't also keepers that did it, but there's lots of places you can point fingers at and the government is one of them. There's a correlation that I'd like to make regarding laws and groups and making things illegal and how it affects people. And a lot of people are probably going to hate that I make this correlation, but it's very close to home to me. I, I went to prison for cannabis back in 2013 because of laws. And now you can just do what I was doing totally legally and because now the government figured out their little way to make money on it. And the reason the laws were passed for that in the first place had nothing to do with public health and safety. I don't know if any of you guys that are ignorant to the reason that cannabis became illegal in the first place, it was uh, William Randolph Hearst had a paper company that he was heavily invested in and he's also very well tied in with publishing. He was a politician and he started a campaign to make 
cannabis illegal because they were building a machine that was going to make it very easy to use hemp as, and cannabis as it had been to make paper and, and very efficiently he was going to put his paper company out of business and he started a campaign, a very successful campaign that made it illegal and there was a group called Normal, there still is a group called Normal that's been fighting since 1970 to overturn these laws. Now Normal didn't come about until after it had already been made illegal but there's a very similar correlation here. I think it's really easy for you. It's easy for me to see. I'm hoping it's easy for you guys to see. Luckily, we have US ARC before these laws are happening and they're doing the same type of fighting that Normal has done to finally keep us that know that cannabis is the healing of the nation, thank you very much, from being criminals. And this is what I see happening now. They're trying to turn reptile keepers, responsible reptile keepers, into criminals by passing these laws. That's what's happening. You either euthanize your pet, or you're against the law, you're breaking the law. And that's just ridiculous to me. And, and I, I'm getting worked up about it, but it's because some of these things, people don't deserve to be turned into criminals if they're responsible keepers. It's just ridiculous. So what can you do to help? That's probably what you're asking now. What, what can, how can you help stop this from happening? All right, I need, I need to hold a snake. I was getting a little worked up there for a minute. Holding a snake does very similar things to me as, as cannabis. It calms me down. It helps me think a little clearer. It helps me to uh, just be a little more focused and not so wild and crazy and hopefully a little bit easier to understand. What can you do? You can help support US ARC because these guys are hiring the best law firm in Florida to try and make this lawsuit happen and, and win and be successful. If everybody watching this video just put in five bucks, it would help start that lawsuit off on the right foot. and potentially help it win. I, I hate the fact that money is a thing that needs to be used to make these things happen, but that's just the way things work around here, man. It's the way they've worked for a long time. And to fund the lawsuit and go through all the court proceedings, that's what it takes. Now, even if you can't, even if you have no $5 to spend on helping US ARC or even a dollar, the least you can do, and, and this is something Phil recommended to me, if somebody can't even spare a dollar to help this, this thing and help these guys fight, for us reptile keepers, at least sign up for the newsletter so you know when things are happening. They, they're paying attention to everything that's happening, even down on like city and county levels. If something's happening with reptile related laws in your county, US ARC is on top of it. These guys are always paying attention to what's going on. And if you sign up for that newsletter, you will be aware of these things happening, hopefully before they get to the point that this one has already, where we're having to file a lawsuit to make this happen. And you're like, do you help? Of course I do. Every single snake I've ever sold here, money from that sale has gone to US ARC. We go to the auctions and we blow money on, on ridiculous things just to help support because we, we love what they're doing. We know they're doing good things for us. And they're kind of taking a hit right now too because we haven't been able to have any shows. There haven't been any auctions at these NARBC shows where they raise lots of funding. So um, they're kind of in a hard spot where a lot of us are right now. You know, this, this whole thing, all these changes that are happening in our country, in our world, it's, it's been struggles for lots of people. And there's, no, there's no doubt about that. But uh, I'm hoping that all of us can pull together and make this work. And we can stop people that are just trying to enjoy these animals responsibly from being turned into criminals with this crazy legislation that's happening. <sighs> All right, I know you guys were hoping for a Music Monday this Monday and I, I just thought that this was a little more important to talk about and I wanna put some more time into making really nice Music Monday for you guys coming up, but uh, just please, I'm, I'm down here on my knees now, I don't know if you can tell, I'm on my knees asking you to please, please help with US ARC and US ARC Florida. There are links down in the description for all of that stuff, for how you can sign up for the newsletters, all the links that they had in that email I got, as well as videos that Tyler and Chandler put out and Kenan, for those guys that are out there in Florida on the front lines that are facing what's gonna be the horrible ramifications if, if this thing goes through and we don't win this lawsuit. So, please and thank you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for listening to me rant. I. Uh, you know, I like to just have fun with these videos sometimes, but sometimes shit gets serious, man. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go teach Eli to ride a bike now. Big daddy time. Gotta teach this guy to ride a bike. And we're all coming, whole family's coming, but uh, please leave a comment down below uh, for Cusco on... <laughs> Cusco on Cut coming up uh, the day after tomorrow. Uh, if you have something you really want me to talk about on Uncut, just please leave that down in the comments below, and I promise I will talk about it, but... It's, it's daddy time. <laughs> <laughs>
You're doing good. You're doing it by yourself. You're doing it by yourself, my guys. Keep pedaling. It's all you. <laughs> yeah, my guy. You're doing it, my guy. Start pedaling. Start pedaling. on this place you guys that have been watching the channel since the very beginning remember we have this property up here it's actually an escrow right now which is cool and kind of unfortunate because we wanted to build a house like right there it just didn't work out but it seems like we may have dodged a bullet because it turns out our neighbor might not be so cool so <laughs> we may have really dodged a bullet just rode bike up here just to say kind of goodbye and new beginnings we're gonna find a new spot